What's up guys? Welcome back to Pharma Freak with me today John here at Pharma Freak bringing to you our weekly update guys for those of you who have been following our second batch of 1581 birds from which we have lost a lot of them for those of you who have been following due to an outbreak guys which happened here at our farm but we have gotten through it and uh, they have recovered and you can see how healthy they are looking just now and how awesome they are also doing guys massive 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 now there are a lot of things that we changed that help us to achieve this success within a few days to a week now guys for those of you who have been following my tips my strategies and my techniques guys here at pharma freak your one stop animal scientist when it comes to growing brella beds for home domestic and commercial consumption guys so you want to stick around this video till the end guys if you like what i do on this channel so far if you find any value you want to leave me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe join the family it only takes you a second to do. hit that subscribe button and turn all the notification on so you won't miss out on my next upload you will be the first to be notified anytime i do an upload now so what you are seeing just now we have a batch of 1581 beds from which we have lost a, 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 a quite number of them but we have at least 1000 i would say 1390 right now uh if i'm not mistaken it could be more but it couldn't be less <laughs> so guys you can see uh what we are doing just now is making sure of hygiene and sanitation guys we learned this from our very first batch of 1071 birds uh from which we have sold everything already guys the market was quite good like i shared with you marketing techniques you make sure you keep birds that you are able to sell you make sure before even keeping your birds you have sold them from your marketing contacts and connections guys now this batch of 1581 birds see how evenly seated and how happy they are with the ventilation right here this tells us that the ventilation is just quite okay now that is one thing we minimized on our first batch it helped to affect the growth of our first batch but this time around we make sure that ventilation is key guys so we have taken up all our plastic up on both sides of the walls to make sure that they get well ventilated at this age you are seeing them they are day 38 guys and believe me they aren't looking bad guys we are also going to be weighing them putting them on scales so you can see their their current at kilogram right now and if they are doing just fine guys now we learned about this ventilation issue second uh we also learned about the litter management okay uh the mistake we did on our first batch we are trying to correct them on our second batch our first batch by this time the birds were looking very very dirty due to the wet litter so we weren't replacing the wet litter okay with dry litter on our first batch now that influence that affected them a lot first they become uh infected with a disease the cough okay they become they became infected because when the litter is wet they always go and lie down and sleep on the wet litter and by so doing it helps uh infect them with illnesses like cough cold and other uh illnesses come on to to brailler beds okay secondly it also helped to affect their growth guys so we didn't have very healthy looking birds on our first batch but see what we are doing just now replacing uh, dry litter on any area where we think it is wet in the farm now that is helping them first to look very clean to look very attractive when marketers come around secondly it is helping them to stay healthy guys now another thing which we learned is the drinkers okay now on our first batch all our drinkers were on the floor directly on top of the litter uh, that is where the wetness was coming from because when they drink 
they are, they are spilling the water off on the litter, or when they fly, the, the water is spilling off on the litter. So we try to correct that as well to raise it up at least one block, okay? Now, another advantage on these raising up your drinkers, it also helps them to exercise their neck muscles, okay? Uh, they need to stretch their neck a little to drink water. They shouldn't just uh, eat from the floor and then drink again directly from the floor. It doesn't help them to exercise their muscles in any way. I'm talking about their neck, okay? Now, those are things we learned and we are correcting them. And by so doing, we are achieving massive, massive results. See how our birds right now. See how clean and how healthy they are looking because of smaller mistakes that we are correcting, guys. See how they are looking. So beautiful. I think I love this batch a lot. And uh, that is just the life of a farmer. You learn from your past mistakes. You learn to correct things in order to achieve massive success, guys. So another thing is the feed. Now, the reason why our first batch didn't perform so much when it comes to body weight, they were big, they look so big, but when you lift them up, they don't look that heavy, okay? So most of the buyers who came around complained, some of them recommended, other feed, a mixture of formulations and things like that. So I decided to try, okay? At first, my major component, feed component was mares, okay? But this time around, I decided to change it to be granite, okay? So, and believe me or not, they are doing just awesome. So we changed the feed, okay? We are going to be putting them on scale in order to see at their day 38, how much the way just bear with us guys some of them are a little stubborn <laughs> just bear with us now look at what we have here guys on day 20 on day 38 we can achieve 1.85 uh, kilograms okay so that's one kilogram one kilogram uh, I would say 1.85 kilogram, which is just massive, which is just a great achievement for us, okay? This is the weight we were able to achieve on our last batch at day 45, but we have achieved it this time around at just day 38. So to me, it is huge achievement, okay? Now, this is important because it is going to help us in our marketing, of course, yes, more money. The bigger your birds, the heavier they are, more money in your pocket, okay? So let us see what this one also look like, okay? This one is a little stubborn, but just bear with us, guys. So this is the life of a farmer. We just start bringing to you this update coming from us, Farmer Freak, to help you grow your own farm and then be a better farmer at the end, putting much more money in your pocket, guys. Just and see what we have there guys 1.9 kilograms guys within just 38 days this is what we were able to achieve at day 45 or more on our previous batch but we are able to achieve just at day on day 38 massive massive so due to our changes due to what we improved our litter management we improved on our ventilation we improved on a lot of other things we changed feet and we are able to achieve this isn't that looking just amazing you can still see what we are doing on areas where we think it's wet enough it's most especially around the drinkers okay the spill of water at all times so you want to be keen to identify those wet areas because if you fail not to do what we are doing just now guys there are chances that your birds are going to be affected by cough cold and other uh, ailments another thing is it's going to hinder their growth guys which you as a farmer at the end it will not be profitable for you guys so you can see what we are doing and I'm just loving how clean and how healthy they are looking at, okay? Now, just to bring you back on our key points for today, what we were able to, 
what we were able to improve in order to achieve this massive success is we improved on our ventilation you can see all our uh, plastics are up now the places where ventilated you can see how evenly spread it and seated and jumping they are looking because the temperature it is just good for them guys we were able to improve on our ventilation secondly we raised our feeder our drinkers up at least a block depending on their age too guys that you don't want to make it too high where the smaller ones will not be able to get true to drink water okay so we raise them up the drinkers up so you can see we have three sections here of 500 beds each okay now that also help us to 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 manage them correctly okay now to to to, to it helps us on management to keep the right numbers to follow them up to follow sick birth up and so on and so forth okay guys so we were able to do that and we also improve on our uh, biosecurity guys at first uh, a worker is entering just into any area of the pen which is not good okay we didn't even have uh, internal uh, shoes internal slippers for workers to use to walk around they just go out and come back in and then assess the farm so those things all were not very appropriate but we have corrected them we now have only internal shoes that you only have to use in the pen uh, when you go out you use your own personal shoes guys so those smaller things that we are correcting it is helping us to achieve this success guys i also told you we changed our feed uh, we switched from our main component which was corn now to granite okay now to granite which is not looking bad which is just awesome guys and they are enjoying their meal they are enjoying their feed and they are growing so healthily well guys so should you like what i do so far on this channel you want to leave me a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button join the family uh become part of us so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime i make a new upload guys so this is farmer freak and we keep on bringing to you this daily weekly update in order to show you what is happening just now now during this time at their age day 38 okay this is the perfect time for you to start your marketing if you don't have a contact list of buyers now you want to create those contacts okay i would say <coughs> excuse me i would say second week uh, before they are ripe for marketing okay you start looking for people who can come and carry this bird when they are the at the uh, uh, age of 45 days or more guys again you it depends on you when you want to sell them off when you want to send them out okay normally before this time we were supposed to have had a new badge uh, in our brooder but we don't because of that this badge they were sick of chronic cough which are they get infected from our old badge remember the mistake we also did is to to inhabit them under one roof which was just not a good idea at all okay which was not good so uh, we corrected that now we are running one batch until they get to their maturity until they are ready for marketing before us bringing in the little ones for brooding so that before they are ready 21 days to be transferred the older ones must have gone out okay now this is farmer freak and uh we are happy having you here uh you want to make sure to be part of us guys let me know your concerns in the comment section below uh i will respond to every comment almost instantly and i will answer your questions guys so we are happy bringing to to you this result and uh we keep on doing these guys because it is what we love to do guys we love to do this okay so just take a moment and view what is going on
Another thing I have witnessed is growing a huge number also bring huge problems, okay? <laughs> the headache and the hustle you will have growing 1,000 birds will not be the same as you will have growing 1,500 or 2,000 birds, guys. That is just the rule, okay? But, well, if it is something you are very passionate about, it is not going to be any hustle because you love what you are doing and you love doing just what you are doing, guys. So it becomes much more easier when it is your passion, guys. And you know, here at Pharma Freak, we are so passionate growing this bed for meat consumption and we keep on doing just that. I appreciate you watching this video till the end. Leave us a thumbs up and I will be seeing you around soon as this was John and peace out.